what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here hey. with Jenny Lee <laughs> and uh, we are for here with episode number two of our, you know, I guess our journey um, to getting pregnant <laughs> and we're very excited but this this kind of, this video is mostly about what Jenny Lee has to go through in this moment um, with uh, tracking ovulation and stuff like that and we got our kit in just the other day and we opened it up and it was great um, and so we opened that and we were excited um, and so yeah I'm just gonna kind of be the cameraman and let Jenny Lee explain to you a little bit about the ovulation tests she's been doing every day and a little bit about the blood work she's got to go get uh, today so I'll let her take over so I was super excited to get the kit in the mail I started it right away you know I started on the 22nd and I, I got a surge they call it a surge um, because it's a surge in uh, the lutein level, I think that's what they call it, um, and it, that indicates that you're ovulating. And so, like the first time I did it, I had like this mini surge. It wasn't like a full surge, but it, since it was my first time, I was like super unsure. So I did the test like six times. And How do you actually do the test? Like, so, what do you do? So yeah, so I'm. Um, these are the test strips, and I, you know, made myself a little chart here with the dates um, every day. And as you could say, see, some of the dates have more than one, even though I don't need to do it more than one. I've just like, because it's so new, I'm just like double checking myself. And you know, I'm just kind of recognizing that, yeah, like I'm trying to trust my body and I'm trying to trust the process and that feels like a lot. Um, so anyways, um, it was weird because I was like, oh yeah, like I have a mini surge. So that means tomorrow I'm gonna have a big surge and everything's gonna be perfect and aligned. And then the next day I didn't have anything. So it's like your body, you know, knows what it's doing and it just takes so much trust in that. And so, you know, I called the nurses and, you know, they were like, oh, well, you know, well, maybe you had your surge before you got the kit and that's why you just had the end of it when you did your first test. So I'm going actually today um, to get a blood test um, to confirm my ovulation cycle. The use of the kit is super easy. You basically urinate in a cup, Stick in the test strip for five seconds. You use your, uh, your your phone and you do a timer or your stopwatch. You put the strip in for five seconds, you take it out, and then you let it sit there for three minutes and you use the timer on your phone for that too. Like. You try not to, to drop your phone into the toilet. <laughs> What's the strip look like uh, before you pee on so it? Strip, or before you dip it in your cup yeah, of pee? Yeah, the strip has, <laughs> it's just, it has this green part always, but then like this part would be completely white and no, there would be no lines. So as you could see, the first day I had a pink line. This is the this first line will always show up as like the test line, but this line is the important line that indicates ovulation. And when you have no, nothing there, like down here, that means you're not ovulating. That there's no sign of a surge. Oh, okay, um, cool. So like the difference between this one and, and yeah, like this, this top one. one this top you one was see the strongest. Definitely a yeah, line there. Right, exactly. So, but it's not a red line. It was supposed to be a red line. What and color it does, is that? It's kind of. I mean, it does change. It says don't read it after five minutes because it does oh, change. Okay. So this isn't. You know, this is just a, a kind of a, you know, an example of like Your what records. it kind of would look like. Um, but yeah, it would be red and I haven't had red and I think it's because I got the kit the day after the red might have happened And so hopefully the blood test today is gonna confirm that and I'm just I'm just trying to trust my body and know that it's doing it knows what it's doing and everything is on time and um, That has taken a lot from me to <laughs> Be in that space so because you're excited because I'm super excited and I just I want everything to go well and I want to look down at my test and see the red line and I want to um, just feel like it's all happening and we're taking the steps and I know we are regardless of what red line I see and don't see so I'm just uh, holding a lot of that and just trusting. And so you're taking the, they're taking your blood work to check what? To, to confirm my ovulation cycle, that like when it's happening. And like, so why do they, why don't they take the blood during the ovulation cycle? Why do they wait seven days to take it? Um, do we know? I think, I'm pretty sure that like they can, in the blood test, they can verify the, pro, like the level of progesterone in like, and that indicates that you ovulated a certain amount of days ago, like a week ago. Okay, cool. Cool. So there's just like diff there's different things that the body does and produces that indicate that where the cycle is. 
And I think coming at it from these different angles, um, you know, especially because we're going to, going to you know, have an insemination um, and it needs to be within a certain time frame and a certain window, they want to verify that it's going to be the right window and that like, you know, we don't have to do it over and over. So. Awesome. And so you're going to go to the doctor today and get a little blood work done. Yeah. I'm actually awesome. leaving in a few minutes to do okay. that. So I'm excited and I'll check back in with you all and let you know how it went. Okay. Awesome. I will not be there because I have to, I am working. Um, and uh, I have Lee, an intern here too. So um, I won't be there, but I'm excited to watch the video and see when I'm editing. I'll be editing all these videos. So I'll be watching her section uh, after. She gets her blood work done, and I'm excited too. And I'm going to end the video here for my part. She'll take the camera, and she will end the video when she's done. All right, guys. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Now on to Jamie. Lee. Bye, guys. See you later. All right. So I just got the blood work done. And mad respect to all of the trans folks doing weekly shots because ouch <laughs> I definitely wasn't nervous until it almost happened so um, it was super quick I didn't really have to wait which was which is awesome and uh, yeah I just now I just wait a couple days she said give it a couple days and I should hear from one of the nurses about the results feeling a little bit uh, of an adrenaline rush from that um, probably gonna go get a snack or something. Excited to be taking these baby steps towards the baby. <laughs> One step at a time. I'm trying not to rush or uh, be attached to timing like I was saying earlier. So, thanks for being with me today. I'll keep you posted.